All right, BK from Manforwars.com. This is the College and University. Did a little tour of Charles Healthcare District. It is 1.36 p.m. Friday, April 3rd. There's a speed of sound by Coldplay. And if, uh, and, you know, polite patriotism, nice ladies and gents offline, teach kids to look, talk, and feel great. And uh, then share great online info they get excited about offline as better people make a better place to live. Uh, more informed and empowered people, better politicians' results, at least help people think for themselves. Might be smarter people out there that can tell you something's wrong, and they clear, you know, clear, and clear that up for you. You won't be passing that on. Or if it's stupid, laugh. If it's smart, enjoy. But nobody needs to be get their mantis or panties in a bunch, right? And uh, then we can stop people being turned to zombies, make it uh, attack anybody that can do anything else to try and make them zombies. Why well, that's what zombies do. Zombies see human behavior. They see nice people minding their business. They bother them. They see people getting along, bother them, and they see people, you know, talking, being able to use English or French or something, and they bother them, and they just try and make you a zombie. Well, a zombie doesn't care about the coronavirus, doesn't care about social distancing. It'll run too close to hundreds of people a day trying to force you to put up with it. It doesn't care if it gets the virus or spreads the virus. It'll run too close to you and bump into you and just force you to see something ugly you're not going to like and run away. So that's zombie stuff, so... Well, I'm not going to help people stop. I don't establish that. You know, it's all there. You know, otherwise, yeah, that's all they want to do. Just fight hard to be a bitch. Fight hard to pretend to be your bitchy, sketchy zombie girlfriend or wife. And make everyone do it. So, yeah, that's the thing they care about the most. Is bothering people, making you put up with them, knowing you're not going to like it, not going to respect them. And uh, that's what they care about more than anything. So, that's, uh, that's clearly brainwashing for regular, straight, uh, uh, confident Canadian men. They just obsess over being a bitch. Making you put up with them, getting embarrassed, lying and arguing like a bitch. You know, it's making you feel impotent like a bitch, just being a mess near you. Can't say or do anything. When bros get to tripping like that, man, just check these bros later. Go for a walk. Might be their hormones. Fred said something stupid. Whatever, whatever, whatever. There's nothing you can say or do. Bros get to tripping like that. Go for a walk. Go for a drive. Come back in an hour. They feel a little guilty. Sorry. Calm down. You can talk about what they're all worked up, messed up about. We'll give you a chance to say or do anything. I have my girlfriends, it doesn't happen often, but sometimes girlfriends just crazy, just can't just say nothing, do nothing. Ah, fuck you, put up with this. Nothing you can say or do. So fuck this. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> there you go for a walk, go for a drive, come back in like an hour. Calm down. Okay, okay, so what's going on? Who said what, 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 what? It's a typical girl problem. Or they're mad at you or something. Oh, zombie, zombie, zombie. No, it just acts sketchy. Anytime it sees human behavior, it attacks. It sees nice people, it attacks them, it tries to make them zombies. Uh, sees people talking in English or French or whatever attacks. Zombie, zombie, zombie. No, no, zombie. No relation. I don't want you to say that's my old lady. Like we were arguing earlier and now they're a bitchy, sketchy mess in public. It's a zombie. It just does that to everybody. So. It's all embarrassing. It's not like my old lady or something. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? No, 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 no. Zombie. No, it just does that to your people. It knows you're not going to like it. doesn't care. The zombie. It doesn't care if people like it or not. This wants to make more zombies. What else can you do with it? It'll bother you, you'll bother it, and then you won't be able to do anything, then you'll go look for other nice people to bother and make them into zombies who bother people. So just south of uh, college and university, healthcare district, we'll take a look at a couple of other areas. Again, very, very quiet, eerily quiet. Not a lot of tension in the area either. Just we're super quiet. People aren't going out, going to work, getting hurt. People aren't going in for elective surgeries, everyone home. Not even a huge uh, flu panic with people dying all over the place. So you might say, well, it's good, right? Well, it may be good. But we've got to be mitigate the virus. Got to be able to communicate well about that. Possibility of martial law, communicate well about that. We've got to mitigate the, uh, the possible depression. Can't try and save 100,000 of the flu and then kill 10 million of depression. Go, well, hey, we did what we had to. Say, what? No, well, fuck that. People die all the time from all sorts of stuff. People die of skin cancer. We don't allowed to get, get any sun anymore. Hey, stay inside. Sun causes skin cancer. Like, what the fuck? Well, if men help people stop, it's fine. Otherwise, you, you know what you do to anybody that can do anything. You act like a bitchy, sketchy, pretend girlfriend zombie. You're put up with a hey, yeah, yeah, nobody talk anymore. Yeah. And then you're like, I can't look at that shit. It's fucking ugly, stressful, confusing. All right, you know, I'll bother you back. Fuck you. And then people don't get... Go along with their kids, family, friends, then they go attack strangers. They're like, what do you want to do? Let's go make them zombies. Let's go look for nice people to bother, force them to put up with us, force them to see something they're not going to like. 
It's a zombie. It doesn't care. It's a zombie. 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 So we may help people stop. Save flight Canadians. You can top off line. Save Canada. Well, they can. You know. Lion bitch is to be broken, typically. It's half ah, you loser, put up with this. Thank you, soldier. Glad you didn't pay attention to that. It's quite embarrassed. So. There's a double time check. 1.41 p.m. Friday, April 3rd, 2020. Uh, oh, zombie, zombie, zombie. He's a mentally ill person shaking near strangers. Can't explain why. You don't bother him back. You don't bother other people. It's not nice. You quietly ignore it. Look, every man, woman, and child in Canada, plus other around the world, were armed with zombie apocalypse prevention technology, just like in the old days. You keep a newspaper on the subway, poor sketchy person running around shaking near strangers, can't explain, hitting themselves in the head. You just politely look down at your newspaper, look away, everyone politely ignores it, and they finish shaking and run away. Or they just like, you know, they just chill out somewhere and they go, ah, peer pressure, forget it, might as well be nice. So. Well, what do you do? You can't look at it, it's fucking ugly. They know it's ugly, they try to force you to look at it. You have to bother them back, but then you're both zombies. So then all you can do is go bother strangers and, and try and make them zombies. You can't be nice to each other and look at and talk to each other anymore. You have to go, you have to go, go bother strangers to make them zombies. That's all you can do. Well, that's no good. Right, that's right. Men help people stop. They calm down. Regular straight guys don't want to look, bother each other. They, you know, don't want to look at each other. Nothing to look at. No one to look. Have to force each other to make everyone do it. And nobody can be nice and look at and talk to each other anymore. They just turn into zombies. We like running near hundreds of people a day, trying to turn them into zombies. And now the quarantine, there's only a few dozen people around, so zombies are lonely. Zombies are, ah, I used to running and bumping into hundred people a day, forcing them to see something ugly and run away. Now it's like, oh, that zombie sees you now? You, whoever you are, I haven't seen somebody to bother in two minutes. Fuck you, put up with me. Ah, it's go crazy. Right, so. So, the heartbeat of innovation. Again, it's really brilliant, uh, capable people working here. Also some evil people who use some of the good things they do to sell some really bad things. You know, typically with triage work, break your leg, something happens. Doctors are amazing, right? They'll, they'll put your leg back together even if it's in 50 different pieces and stuff and, uh, and so on. But some of the drug things, take one drug for this, they cause something else, take another drug for that, does cause something else, take another drug for that, cause something else. So you're on 25 drugs, right? So that's something we got we got to mitigate against, and other sort of related sort of corruption things. <clears throat> oh, I have some great people doing great work. I'm, we're happy to have them, no doubt about that. But there are some evil people in the mix, just like in the media. There's some good people doing good work, and then there's some bad people doing bad work, and they use the good work to sell the bad work, make you believe bullshit with some with some real shit. So <clears throat> that's okay. Men can help people stop. If men do something besides fight to act like a bitch, they can fight to be a man, fight for their people, fight for their country, fine. But that like a bitch, most important thing in the world, you know, just lying bitch, lying sketchy bitch of a wife or girlfriend, just acting sketchy, busting your balls, making you uncomfortable, can't say or do anything. You can't look at it, it's too gross, you have to do it back. And you can't do, be nice to each other, do anything. You have to go bother strangers, like zombies. They look for nice people to bother, so. <clears throat> That's the zombie process. Oh, a zombie, zombie. I don't know why you think it's my ugly old lady freaking out on me. We were arguing earlier. It's a zombie. He doesn't care about social distancing, coronavirus. In case of walking dead. He doesn't care about that stuff. He wants to come too close to people all the time and bother you. That's all. Zombie. You know, so they make you put up with something you're not going to like, force you to see something you're not going to like. Zombie. Well, it's okay. You're just infinite. While it's, while it's acting rude and sketchy and it's a mess, it makes you put up with it. It's kind of gross. So you're like, all right, I can't look at this shit. You can't be like, all right, I'll give you five minutes. Go ahead. Last ah, sketchy bitch, you put up with it. So you have to do it back. But then you're a zombie, right? But then you can't be nice to each other. So that's how it makes zombies. And then it runs near strangers trying to make them zombies. That's the zombie process. But men can stop it. I got lots of proof. Oh, I don't bother you guys. I can't bother you guys. You get your mantis in a bunch or whatever and start crying. So, oh, fuck it. I got to work around that. All right. Oh no, zombie, zombie's desperate. Zombie likes to bother hundreds of people a day and try to turn them into zombies. Can't do anything with people it knows. Already made them zombies. Already made them act sketchy back and forth. So then it goes to bother nice people. No relation, no relation. 
Well, he's not blamed or embarrassed. Some of these year old lady freaking out on you in public. You were arguing earlier and you're still mad or whatever. A zombie, zombie, zombie. Who does that? No, it's okay. What are you supposed to do? Bother it back? Poor mentally ill person shaking near strangers? Yeah, just keep his newspaper on you. Look on the subway. All 50 Canadians, look at the newspaper, look away. They finish shaking, spazzing out, run away. And then everyone happy. Have a nice day. Can't help it, can't explain. So. Well, same thing. And men can help people stop, so that's good. Well, I just can't bother about it. You lose self-respect, take other people's. So I work around it, did the last few years on video manforwards.com. And at this point, if men can help people stop, and they're like, you know, I'm too busy to do the pretend bitchy sketchy put up with me girlfriend game. Uh, you know, I just got something in mind, worried about this, that. So you think about, now put up with it, forget it. <laughs> Don't bother someone else. Not all back and forth, okay, now what? Can't do anything. Okay, go bother strangers. Watch a zombie. It doesn't care about social distancing. It likes running too close to people and bothering them. It's a zombie. It's not a human. It's a zombie, zombie, zombie. If men help people stop, then it'll, it'll get along with people it knows, and it won't bother strangers. Well, it's a zombie. This wants to force or trick you into looking at something uncomfortable, unpleasant. It's like a pretend ugly girlfriend that hates you or something. So, zombie, zombie, zombie. No relation. Maybe a blamed or embarrassed about it. Oh no, it's like gum on the ground. It bothers everyone. Everyone there is going to be yucky. But you avoid to feel better. Don't bother it back. Don't bother anybody else. It's not nice. So, oh, it's a zombie. Zombie, zombie. It just wants to force you to put up with it. And it's desperate because the zombie's used to bothering hundreds of people a day. That zombie's used to running too close to hundreds of people a day and force you to see it act sketchy, do bumpy. That, now it's desperate. There are not many people around. So now it's only, ah, whoever you are. Somebody I bother. Yeah. But if it gets along with people it knows, like a human, uh, if men help people stop, then it won't go bother strangers. So, oh, it doesn't care. It just wants to, it doesn't come close to you, force you to see it look ugly. That's all it cares about. That's life for a zombie. Just run too close to you, force you to see it look ugly, run away. So. Well, it's sad. They like being ignored and want to stop. You, people help people stop, fine. If not, hey, that's just not going to happen, right? Like uh, you can do anything else. You can't do both. You can't act like a rude, sketchy zombie and act like a human. You know, you can act like a rude, sketchy zombie or a human. You act like a rude, sketchy zombie. You just wander around attacking humans, to try to bother them, make them put up with you. So, I doesn't care. People don't run away from me because I'm wrong or crazy. They run towards me and they prove it. I got my laptop open or a film it, whatever. Sometimes. It, not like, oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, I am a zombie. I bother everyone. They don't like it, and they bother me. I don't like it. Then we can't do anything. Then we go bother strangers. Yeah, yeah, zombie, zombie. Zombie, not not normal human stuff. Oh, regular, if men help people stop, it's fine. They're the ones who don't want to live at each other. They're regular straight guys. Not gay, make it easy to get along. Not uh, whatever. And then they make everyone do it. And so... What else can you do? Like, ah, oh, you're not going to like this, you're not going to respect me, put up with it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they don't, and then they don't do anything, and then they just bother people. So. Hmm. They don't care, they don't care about anybody, they don't care. Speed on me. It's like gum on the ground that bothers people. Yeah, it's yucky, but don't play. Just want to feel better. Stop respect, mind your business, don't bother anybody. It'll finish. It is what it does. What are you supposed to do? A poor mentally ill person shaking near strangers and bothering and whatever. Bother back to bother else. So, okay. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Not my old lady or something. I mean, my old lady and I were arguing and they're still spazzing out on me in public and mad or whatever. Going to finish. This is how I was a kid. The poor mentally ill person shaking near strangers. Can't explain why. You just look at your newspaper. You look away on the subway. Everyone looks away. Everyone quietly ignores it. You don't bother it back. You don't bother anybody else. Everybody happier, so. It's okay, it's obvious they care about people. It just bothers them. You force you to look at somebody you're not going to like. But you get worked up, bother you. And then you bother it back. And you're both zombies. And you go bother strangers. That's a zombie process. It's not complicated. Okay, zombies. That's a zombie. And then you can't do that, use it anymore. You have to act sketchy back. And then you can't do anything, you have to go bother strangers. So that's the zombie thing. 
That's all right, men help people stop, be fine. Otherwise, that's what zombies do. The zombies just attack. They spend all day and night looking for nice people to bother. See nice people over there getting along, bother them, force you to look at something ugly, stressful, confusing. Well, you can't look at it. You can't just be like, all right, sure, that's your thing. I'll look at it for five minutes. You can't, it's too ugly, stressful, confusing. They know you're not gonna like it. They know it's ugly, stressful, confusing, them getting worked up, making you put up with them. So, no, he's okay. It's like gum on the ground. If you go near it, it's gonna be yucky. You don't want to feel better. You don't get upset. You can't get too upset at it. This is what it does. It's a zombie. It just wants to sneak around and make zombies. It just wants to bother people and make zombies. That's what happens when you turn to a zombie. You act sketchy with your kids and family and friends and make them act sketchy back. You can't do it with each other. Then you have to go look for nice people to bother to turn them into zombies who act sketchy. That's the zombie process. It's really simple. It's not hard. You just act like a pretend uh, lying, bitchy, sketchy, grumpy wife or girlfriend. Or you make them put up with you. Ah, you're just impotent. Don't say anything. I'm impotent? I can't say anything? No, I'm just a mess. Don't say anything. And then you're like, all right, so now what? I can't look at that shit. It's too gross. Okay, I'll bother you back. And you just bother each other. You can't do anything. You go bother strangers. So that's the zombie process. A lot of people want to be nicer in this crisis. They want to be selfish and bother people if you need somebody. But, you know, men can help people stop, respect each other, teach kids to communicate well. Otherwise, everyone does it. You can't do anything with a zombie except be a zombie. And then once you're a zombie with a zombie, the zombie's not happy. You can't do anything with it. You just bother each other. And then you have to go bother somebody else. That's a zombie, zombie life. Oh, zombie, 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 no relation. I don't want you to blame your embarrassing my old lady mad at me is passing out in public and making everyone uncomfortable. Zombie, zombie. It does that with everyone. You can't do anything else. You go near it. See what happens. You try and be nice. You try and use English. You try and, you know, it's none of that stuff. It's just, it's just sketchy zombie all the time. It's not personal. It's what it does. Oh, make it help people stop. Make it safe to like Canadians who can talk offline, save Canada. Make sure they respect each other. Girls, kids, calm down. Otherwise, oh, it's a zombie. No, it doesn't care about anybody. It doesn't care if it dies from the flu. It'll run too close to strangers all day and night. It doesn't care about, about social distancing. It'll run too close to you, force you to see it look ugly and run away. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Oh, it's desperate. It's used to try to turn hundreds of people a day into zombies. Now there's only a few dozen now because of the quarantine. So now it's zombie desperate. They can't go run too close to hundreds of people a day. It's got to run too close to dozens of people a day. Go zombie. Oh, no, it's all right. Make it all people stop. You see manboards.com, and then men stop, and everyone else calm down, stop. Not going to bully guys into fucking being a bitch with them. You know? And then it's fine. Well, that's all people can do. Oh, no, zombie. You use English near zombies. See what it does. See it start wiping, scratching. See it start freaking out. You can't use English near it, or French, or any other human. You can't act human near it. You can't be nice and mind your business. You can't look at, talk to people. You can't do anything like that. You just have to act sketchy with it. And then once it makes you a zombie that bothers it back, then you have to go bother strangers, try to make them zombies. No, the zombies are looking all day and night for nice people to bother. They can't be nice to each other. That zombie acts sketchy and bothers that zombie. That zombie acts sketchy, bothers that zombie back. And that's the zombie process. So, you know, metaphors.com. Make it help people stop. Good time, coronavirus fight club. Okay, yeah, yeah, you know what? Enough of this pretend ugly girlfriend shit. I got stuff in my mind, I got the virus, I want to keep myself safe, I'm worried about my job, I'm worried about this martial law shit going on, with not allowed to do anything. It's like, no, oh, pretend bitchy, sketchy, zombie girlfriend, put up with me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't look at it, it's too ugly, it's too stressful, too confusing, you do it. Yeah, you bother me too. Now we can't look at each other and talk to each other anymore. So let's go shake near hundreds of strangers a day, try and make them zombies who bother each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the zombie process, right? Anyway, Dundas University, and now walking. I'm not wrong or crazy. People for years have run towards me. You know, this is, they're like, oh, that guy's crazy. Yeah, he's right. We run towards him, we prove it. The most exciting part of our day is to be ignored doing that shit instead of bothered back or embarrassed if somebody looks at it. So they might be ignored, want to stop. This is all they can do right now. And they're like, you're wrong, you're crazy. No. <laughs> you run away. <laughs> I run towards, yeah, that's me. I am zombie. I'm making my kids and family friends zombie. 
they act sketchy with me. We can't be nice and look at, talk to each other, and then we go act sketchy near strangers, try and make them zombies. That is me. That's, what they, that's how they feel. What's well, the zombie process? You, you limit your options if you're a zombie. You can't be nice and look at, talk to people or anything. You don't have to bother them, they have to bother you, and then you have to go bother other people. That's all. So you can't really do much. Why are people nice? Crisis, why be nice to each other? Why to bother each other? Take you need people. But the desperate zombies are desperate because you used to try to make hundreds of people a day into zombies. Now quarantine can only bother dozens of people a day. So if they see you, they'll be like, oh, you, whoever you are, put up with this. I'm so used to bothering people and forcing them to put up with me all day and night. And now there's not many left to bother. Oh, oh zombies, so sad. So. Well, you don't bother them back. The poor mentally ill person shaking near stranger is sketchy, can't explain. If every man, woman, and child were armed with zombie apocalypse resistant technology, like a newspaper. This we were a few years ago. The poor sketchy person shaking near everybody on the subway, can't explain, no relation. Everyone just looked at the newspaper, looked away, and they ran around shaking and they ran away. Or they got, ah, peer pressure, you know what, calm down, I'll stop too, I'll sit somewhere. And everyone nicer, everyone happy, so you don't bother them back. You don't bother other people. Well, the zombie doesn't care. If the zombie sees human activity, if it sees people nice to each other or minding their business, or if it sees people talking, that's what the zombie does. It gets worked up and starts spazzing out and acting sketchy. So, a right, zombie, you go near it. You see what happens. It'll make you uncomfortable. You try and talk. You see what it does. It'll start touching its head, face, wiping, scratching, shoving things in its mouth and stuff. You know, acting sketchy. So, you can't use English near it or French or whatever you prefer. You just gotta act sketchy and make it impossible. So. Oh, sorry, make it up, people stop. Otherwise, they can't do anything. All that zombie can do is try and make more zombies. They can just act sketchy. But you can't look at that shit. It's too ugly. They know it's ugly. They have to force you to look at it. It's too ugly, stressful, confusing, annoying. And then you get worked up, make you put up with them, act sketchy, bother you. So, then you have to do it too. And then you can't do it with each other. You have to go bother strangers, try and make them into zombies to do it. No, they'll just run near hundreds of people a day, bothering them, trying to make them jittery and uncomfortable or make them spaz out back. And then they, that's how they make zombies. That's the zombie process. I'm not wrong. People don't run away because I'm wrong or crazy. <laughs> they run towards. They go, hey, you're right. You're right. That is me. That's my life. I act like a zombie. A rude, sketchy, pretend girlfriend or wife zombie. He's busting people's balls. Can't say or do anything. Just impotent while I'm a mess. And then uh, they can't just look at it. It's too gross. They have to do it back. And then we both can't be nice to each other. And then we have to go bother strangers and make them zombies. That's the zombie process. So, well, that's people's lives and they can't explain it. They just run up. Hey, that's me, 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 me. So. Well, I used to be nice, polite Canadians. Make it up, people stop. Save polite Canadians. We can talk offline. Save Canada. Well, it's all dead. All zombie. You try and you try and be nice near a zombie. You try and mind your business near a zombie. You try and talk near a zombie. See what it does. See it start acting sketchy and bothering you. Try to make you a zombie that acts sketchy and bothers people. But well, once you're both zombies, you can't do anything with each other. You have to go look for strangers to bother and make them zombies. You can't. Zombies can't do anything. If you turn your kids and your family and your friends into sketchy zombies. Back roots get you with each other. You can't do anything with each other. You can't respect each other to do anything. So you have to go bother strangers like a zombie trying to bother them, make them zombies. Well, they'll do it all day and all night. They'll run too close to you, bump into you. They don't care about the swine flu or anything. Or whatever this, is, this one is. A zombie, zombie. Don't think it's my old lady. I don't want you to think it's my old lady. We are arguing and now there's still a bitchy, sketchy mess in public and everyone's uncomfortable. Zombie, it just does that near everybody. So, Oh, not my old lady. Not my old lady. It does that near everybody. It knows you're not going to like it. doesn't care. It just makes you do it. Because again, look at that. It's too ugly. Stressful, confusing. So then you have to do it. And then you're both zombies. And then you have to go bother other people. That's the zombie process. But make it up, people stop. You know, nice, polite, patriotic men can, can uh, save polite Canadians who can talk offline and save Canada. Not just attack anyone who can talk. Otherwise, that's what they do. You use English. See what happens. Put up with this. You know, wipe, scratch, smack. Okay, forget it. No English, no French, no nothing. Just zombie. Just sketchy, back and forth. And they go bother strangers and you can't look at each other anymore. It's a passing bay in Dundas. Downtown Toronto, Canada. Before 2 p.m. No, 
No, it's good. And then help people stop. Otherwise, all I want to do is fight tag like a bitch. I want to fight tag like a bitch. Like your pretend ugly wife or girlfriend busting your balls, acting sketchy. Can't say or do anything. Just aping it while they're a mess. And you can't look at it. It's too ugly. You have to bother them back. You can't do it each other. You have to go bother other people. Try and make them into zombies who bother people. So if they can do, if they can do something besides that, and make everyone do it. Then they can fight for their being a man. They can fight for their people. Fight for their country. They can respect each other. Talk. Girls and kids calm down. Women's auxiliary kicks in. He goes, oh, you guys are busy with something. You're not just bored and bitchy. You're actually busy. Oh, good, good, good. Hey, all right, it'll be nice to each other. Hope that helps. Hey, off you go. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, put up with me. Fuck you, anybody acting human. You're going to force you to look at this shit. Not like it. Well, all zombie can do. Zombie can get by you. You don't like it. Bother somebody else. Don't like it. Bother